Hi guys, uh, this time it's going to be output values in QTP. Actually, output values enable to view the values uh, that the application takes during runtime. By creating the output values, we can capture the value that the application takes for each run and output them to the either global data table or action data table. This concept is just reverse to the parameterization concept. Um, in this case, QTP takes the data from the application and displays the same in the data table. Let's see how to work with the output values in QTP. I am going to record on a new test to, to show how to insert output values. Let me open the our uh, flight sample application. My application got opened. I am logging in through the application with the name Mike and Mercury. Select a future date and Frankfurt, Los Angeles. Click on flights button. Select on flight. So now I am going to insert an output value for the insert order button. So my output value properties window got opened. Click on OK. So this time I am going to check whether this insert order button is enabled every time and if it's enabled true will be outputted in my, in my data table else false will be outputted so my output value got inserted into the application and if you are seeing in the data table insert order enabled out is appearing as a column and its value is appearing in the first row so I inserted an output value. I am exiting from the application. Also, I am stopping the test. So here I have inserted a standard output. You can uh, insert uh, the text output values also. For example, you can uh, take the text properties during runtime from your application and you can show it in your application. So let me run the test to show you how it's appearing in the runtime. Click on run. Okay. My test is running. This is how it's in. Uh, expand all. Output value, the property name is enabled. Capture value is true. Data table. Type is global data table. And uh, the name of the column is insert order enabled out here I got the value so my captured value during the runtime is Frankfurt so guys this is how you need to work with the output values this is specially used from the application you can take the runtime values and you can uh, provide it as input for your uh, next type text iteration this is one of the main concept in QTP hope this is helpful for you thanks and happy testing